Hello everyone. Here comes Grandpa. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome get, back get to another vlog. <laughs> We've got Wendell in the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wendell, Howard Wendell Wozniak. Holmgren. Holmgren. Well, you're not a Wozniak. He's not a Wozniak. That's He's right. A Sorry, you're a Holmgren. Cheers. Uh, I'm in the land of the plenty. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like it's a resort? I do. The country club? It is. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I called him Wozniak. I always mess that up. Jason's mom's dad. I always mix mix that up. But they're down here. Jay Waz's brother, Ben, got here three days ago and then the rest of his family got in town yesterday. So we picked everybody up from the airport. His parents drove and we are going to be doing lots of stuff this weekend, trying to entertain the fam. Boys went golfing this morning. Went and did your I'm terrible. driving range. Ben's got a real future though. Grandpa's feeling good about that. Yeah, his grandpa's good at all sports, honestly. He's in like a bowling league, a golf league. He he's, goes and walks with 15 friends. He probably has more friends than we do, honestly. It's really sweet. <laughs> it's awesome. His grandpa's so social. But tonight we are going to a Nashville Sounds baseball game. We're going to be heading to Chattanooga one of the days to go ride the train. And I'm also going to the little Van Gogh exhibit today. So we're doing like a bunch of random things here and there over the next few days. So I thought I'd vlog. We have memes of his family in town. We already have the pool floats blown up. First thing his mom did when she got here was literally throw on her swimsuit and went straight to that float. She was like, make sure the Barbie float's blown up. I said, all right, I'll make it happen. So we've got all the floats going. The pool is heated. Furniture is out. We've got chairs for everyone. And we live in chaos when family's in town. Riley, what's going on? We have literally everybody in the bathroom right now. Grandpa's taking oh, wait, no, you're the white button. on his so iPad. Oh, oh it's on the okay. iPad of our shower. Okay, now that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that, <laughs> man, that's a scale. I didn't know what that was. That's fancy too. And again, I just thought, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that all the counters are, the counters are so high. They're actually made for me. Yeah. Like, the counters at our old place literally were like right here. Check if these aren't that much. Oh, really? 197. All right, Doc. That's how we do work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all compare oh, our yeah. lives. <laughs> 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 I just stepped down. Go ahead. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get on there, Linda. You don't have to weigh yourself. Don't worry. I know. I mean, that might be the heaviest here. No, That's I, think it, I think it's going to be. I know. Are you raw down on your iPad? I, I, no I, case I, at all. You're just dropping it left to right. I'm going with 207. You got your shoes on. I said you guys got to add an extra weight. Dad's got heavy shoes. You're fully clothed and you have shoes. 205. Yeah, I bet I'll be at least 204. 204. Nice. <laughs> You can eat that extra thing. Go four point eight. Now I got my clothes on. So <laughs> your heavy shoes. You got your big <laughs> Skechers on. You do. You've got your clunkers on. on. Two or three. Grant you the heaviest. Two or three. On the drop. <laughs> I'm a pound heavier. Yeah, you put it That's why you're getting farther on the golf course. <laughs> All right. This is my outfit of the day. I've got on this Revolve brown cardigan and the Skims square neck tank, Abercrombie jeans, my Misola woven mules, and then this is a new bag from Polen. Shopping East Nashville. I'm picking up 
some little first day on the job gifts for my new employee. Look how cute these little plushies are for kids. The little pineapple is so cute. And the avocado. I think the tomato is my favorite though. Oh my gosh, adorable. All right, still over in East Nashville. We brought the fam, minus Ben, to one of our absolute favorites, Mitchell's Deli. Turkey avocado, the only way, with a pickle, on vinegar chips. I think almost everyone got the turkey off. And good vibes. Good vibes. Only. Forgot about good vibes. <laughs> All right, we just got to Nashville Sound Stadium to watch some baseball. 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 <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't rain. She's vlogging my vlog. It's behind the scenes vlog. At 10 p.m. Catching the first pitch tonight is Booster. All right, Kylie. Whenever you are let's see a strike. by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It almost hit his grandpa. <laughs> Just a major league baseball ball. Right, this, this cloud is not looking very friendly. Please, guys. This cloud. Cookies and cream. Cool mint. Rainbow ice. Now to the morning track. And meet tonight's contestants. We'll start with the man in black who led the pack and grabbed a dub last night. Also on the track, you'll see the one, the only, the legendary Miss Rima. We got George Jones is out there as well. In three, two, one, go! Oh, George. Go back to back. Reba's giving them the uh uh. Not today, baby boy. Golly, golly, Reba. Golly, give him a win. Call that. You call that. Big win for Team Golly tonight. We ended up leaving after the seventh inning because we're so tired and we have to get up early tomorrow. For the farmer's market burrito and it just started raining timed that really well the game was actually pretty close i think it was five to six when we left we got our dipping dots we got chicken tendies and we're feeling good we came we ate we conquered baseball <laughs> guys it is the next day and we slept in a little bit this morning we are gonna go to the farmer's market today and get the burrito that I post about on my stories all the time it's become like a Saturday tradition so we might do that but yesterday I obviously showed you guys the Van Gogh exhibit basically the Van Gogh exhibit has been up in Nashville most of the year it's actually been here for a while now and I've been wanting to go and Jason's sister Lindsay is an art student at Michigan and so I thought it'd be fun to like take her to that so we did that with her and um, Jason's mom, which was really fun. It was really cool. It was very different than what I thought it was going to be, but it was still really cool. It's basically just one big room. You can go upstairs or downstairs in that room, and they just have huge projections on the wall and the floor, and it's basically like a little movie or show. So instead of like walking from room to room and seeing like different galleries, you actually just stay in one place. You like sit on a bench or the floor and then they do the production like around you. So it was really fun. We like sat in the middle of the room. You could just see all of the different projections like all around you. So you're like constantly like turning your head and like turning around and stuff. 
which was really fun. It was just something to do in town. I feel like when people come in town, they're always like, what do you do in Nashville? And I'm like, I don't know. Like besides eating and like getting coffee and occasionally going to like a new restaurant or like a work event, we don't do a ton of stuff like other than hiking, like outdoor stuff. So that was something that I had been wanting to do. And when his family came in town, Jason was like, you should take him to that. You've been wanting to go. So that was really fun. And then after that, we came back and everyone swimming in the pool for a little bit. I did a little bit of work and then we ended up going to the baseball game. It looked like it was gonna downpour. Like right when we got there, there's this giant dark cloud basically just moving over the field, but it actually just missed us. So it really didn't start raining until we ended up leaving around the seventh inning. So we didn't get rained on, which was honestly so lucky because we thought when we got there that the game was gonna get rained out. And we were like, get all your food, get your Dippin' Dots in the beginning because if it gets rained out, you're not gonna be able to have your Dippin' Dots. And so we actually got really lucky with that. Then we came home and went straight to bed because we were very, very tired. And today we are gonna be, like I said, going to the farmer's market and just kind of seeing what the day has. Tomorrow's actually gonna be a bigger day because we're gonna go to Chattanooga tomorrow to go ride the train. So I'll obviously be vlogging a lot tomorrow. So I don't really know what we have planned for today other than the farmer's market, but I will be bringing my camera with me just in case we end up doing anything. So that's what we have. I got in this new concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. I just thought I would show you guys while we're here. I wore this yesterday with the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation one. This wore incredibly all day long. And then I ended up using the concealer. This is new under my eyes to kind of brighten up and it did not crease on me or do anything weird. My skin looked so good all day yesterday. And you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. I've talked about Charlotte Tilbury for years. It's like one of my favorite brands of all the brands that I've tried. And these did not let me down. So I thought I would share what was on my skin yesterday in case you saw. My skin has been doing so, so well. I have been like, so grateful for no acne. I've basically not had acne since my New York trip, which I think was in June. Was that in June? Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's like the longest I've ever gone without acne. So anyway, my skin's in a really good place. I have no makeup on right now, just my skincare. I used the C Firma Fresh and the Protini Polypeptide Cream this morning. And I just love the way that those sit on the skin. So I'm gonna get right to the day. I'm gonna use the same little products and we'll head to the farmer's market. Right now I'm in shade six cause I'm a little bit darker. And then in the winter I am shade four and I've been applying this with a beauty sponge and it just looks so good and dewy. It's a really beautiful medium light to medium coverage and I just think it looks so good on the skin and it wears really, really beautifully all day. Then I'm gonna take the concealer in shade six as well and this shade six is lighter than this. So this is for brightening and one, I just love the packaging of this. But two, you just apply a little bit under the eyes and with the beauty blender, just blend it in and it just looks so natural and it wore incredibly throughout the day. So I am very, very excited about this. And this is my skin up close. No powder or anything, just the foundation and the concealer. It looks so good. And I didn't even apply that much, which is crazy. Laura Mercier sent us a hat. Looking good, it says Laura Mercier in the back. What does it say on the front? Flawless, flawless summer. summer. It's your flawless summer. Flawless summer era. My first flawless <laughs> so. summer. Embarrassing. We gotta get off. Wendell with the bucket hat. You want the bucket hat, Gibbs? <laughs> oh, he's oh, so trendy. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. I think you look like a star. That's my camera roll. What do you think of all this madness? Oh, this madness. Riley tried to run away yesterday. <laughs> she ran straight to her neighbor's house. The guys who do our landscaping, one of them left one of the gates open. And so when we left last night for, not last night, I guess it was actually the night before we had left, 
just Jason and I. And we got a call from our neighbor that Riley had run away. She was like at the door of our neighbor's house looking for their dog, I think. But she's never done that before. She's literally never tried to like leave this property. And she's also never tried to like escape out of like our apartment. So that was the first time. That was the first time you ever tried to do something like that. Riley, did you try to run away? Were you just really stressed that we were gone? She's really, really anxious when we leave because she likes to know where we're at. So if we leave, she normally will just like sleep under the stairs until we get home. She doesn't even really go outside when we leave. We're pretty sure she just like stays right by the door until we come home. Then she ended up running away. Riley. Where's mom? You dead? She's behind me. Mother! Mother! Farmer's market for the burrito. El burrito. El burrito. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, this is the best breakfast burrito in Nashville. It's this family at El Burrito in the Nashville Farmer's Market and they make it right in front of you. They do like a flat egg, they put fries in it, fresh cut bacon. It is seriously so good. It's worth going to. If you like breakfast foods and you like a breakfast burrito or a breakfast taco, this is definitely our favorite. Your vlog. She's filming a behind the scenes of my vlog. Chloe, how does it feel to film? Feels good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I get trolled. There's no respect in this family. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> Boba from Bubble Love. I also got a punch card for rewards. What? Buy eight Boba, get one free. <laughs> Artsy. I love these ones though. Look at this little mushroom. Oh, that one's cute. So cute. Oh, I love the mushroom. I love it. wide open. Yep. It will grow six times bigger if I plant it. Six times. It's got the root on it. They're both ball. I think you drove one person. That lady just eyed my basil plant. <laughs> I'm selling this thing. Welcome back. Six times bigger. <laughs> Secret vlog. Oh, Jason C. Yes, he's coming. You guys are watching this. <laughs> if you're watching this. Crap, he's coming up after up to up. Well, they have a lot of proof there, but so. Just got home, he's doing good. Got him in some water right now in this bag. And I think I'm gonna put him in this pot. That's like a pretty good medium sized pot. I'm gonna fill it with dirt.
This is my first basil plant that I got at the beginning of spring. This is one I picked up at the grocery store a couple of weeks ago. And this is my new one. I just love my basil plants. We put basil in our breakfast scramble every single morning. So this one's gonna get lots and lots of love. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just way bigger than the other ones we have. I got this one at Publix. And also like this one is way more green, like bright, vibrant green. This one's more of like a pale color. Coffee stop shop. Stop. Coffee shop stop. I hate that we've been in the car for a little too long. Oh, we always come here every time we come to Chattanooga, which is more often than you would think. Vlogging my vlog. To get behind the scenes footage. Lindsay in the back. <laughs> Doing some knitting. Knitting. Mm -hmm. Show your pattern. What's it called? Um, it's called a. I honestly forgot the name, but it's just a checkerboard pattern. It's pretty simple. Love okay. it. Is that for school or for personal? For school. <laughs> Off-road in here. Should we go into off-road mode? Off-road mode, come. Always wanted to be in off-road mode. This way to the train. <laughs> wow, that's so beautiful. Polar Express, baby. Coffee's in hand. Walking to the train. Okay. We'll step up to an open area, look to your left, you'll see steps up to the door. Miss Luann is your hostess today. Welcome aboard, everybody. Hi. All aboard. No, you're good. Oh, yeah. you Trailing behind. Slammies. Right. All right. We just did We're all packed in here, so you can probably hear other conversations. But I was on we got to Chattanooga, and we're here say, like, on the Tennessee Valley Jason. Railroad train. Five-hour ride. Jay was booked it. Upgraded to the <clears throat> dome car. It's a rainy, moody vibe today, and they have free snacks, free drinks. The upgraded. This guy. We were really excited. It was actually past Chattanooga, so it was three hours and ten minutes from Nashville here. But we're settled in. We already ate our sandwiches, a whole bag of sun chips, the harvest cheddar, of course. And now we're apparently mowing this bag of blueberries. We got our LaCroix, and we're ready. Vlogging on my phone, because I forgot to bring my camera down here, but this is the bathroom. Little mirror. Washing station. Our star senior conductor aboard today, Mr. Harvey Blessingay. Now, Harvey started working on this line in 1966. Welcome aboard, we're glad to have you. 
Now there's a few rules to go before we go too terribly far. Swiss rolls are the best. Jason's a nutty buddy guy. Swiss rolls. Yeah, Swiss rolls was my old thing. Yeah, I don't, what are I, I don't know if I could take one of those anymore though. Swiss rolls. You ever had these? What are they? The Swiss rolls. They're filled with cream, oh, chocolate good. and cream. They're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they are rich as heck. They're so good. <laughs> All right, show us the one hand cut. Oh here. yeah, I'm just coming. Flip that and then. <laughs> you back. That was so pathetic. <laughs> I haven't, I'm not ready yet. I've been practicing. <laughs> oh, that was it. Ah, I just missed that. I just got a really good one. There you go. Picture didn't happen. We're getting prank content here. Grandpa getting into this first Swiss roll. Alright, let's get a first impression. That's good, isn't it? That's good. Those are my favorite. I eat those at lunch all the time. Do you? Well, no, I used to. <laughs> In like elementary school. First one, there's two more down there. On the way, there's a little spot in between the cars where the windows are. We got milky ways. We got the cosmic river, brownies. The breeze. Okay. Doing what the people do. There's a lot of kayakers. Yeah, yeah it's, this is an incredible river. It's beautiful. Yeah, there's an open window. It's really pretty between the windows. There are people standing there talking. Well, we're going to hit them with the <laughs> eating your Kit Kat like corn on the cob. You got the top layer now. Yeah. It's, it's a system. Can you give me water? No, I'm playing seven. <laughs> oh, you're playing a game. Never mind. That you're going to start your snacks. Food hall. Got it. Deer Park spring water. Big meat stick. Four in the front. <laughs> did you see yourself? Did you even see yourself? Oh, no, I wasn't. I didn't see someone watching. They were required to stop here and top off. Sometimes faster trains, sometimes faster to get out and go to the depot. There's that one, and then the other one. Now, the depot's here. They actually have two. They have small faster depots. Flip it around like that. What they call small footprint for the elevator. Do it once more. I think I can do it. I would never want to call it. Walk around the depot. One more. Okay, here we go. Walk around the depot. Walk around the depot. Georgia-Tennessee line. Goes yeah, to the northwesterly winds around. You had it. Those police officers are very, very nice guys. That's you break the law. That ought to work. All right, we'll start out with a local favorite here. Uh oh. I hear banjos, we better paddle faster, folks.
is the next day. And um, we ended up getting back last night at 8. Getting some snacks and then went to bed. But now we're at the driving range with Grandpa. <laughs> Lindsay in her bucket hat. Forgot my camera, so I'm vlogging on my phone. So Jason's. I know, he got him at a, not a garage sale, but they were just sitting outside with a sign that said free above it. That's a nice bag. I know, it's nice, right? I think he's used them like once. Maybe twice. Little socks. All right, Grandpa. Oh. One of the things you can't do is... Wow. Not very good. Wow, good job. That's great. That's how you do it. All right, here we go. Left arm straight like this? Yeah. yeah. I keep looking at the ball the whole time. Hey! Nice! Oh gosh. This is so <laughs> bad. Do you bend your knees at all? Or? I do. I think you do. Nice! You hit it. You hit it. A golfer already. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh you're just above it. Okay, okay, okay. We're really scared. close. I'm gonna, like, hit the turf I know, really bad. That's a fine line. Nice. Yeah. Dang. Uh. I have no idea where that went. went straight. Really? Oh my nice. god. Nice. Jason's family left this morning at 4 a.m. and we are exhausted from a very, very full week. We are gonna be picking up back working this week, so we're about to head to a coffee shop. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I know it's really chaotic, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the stuff that we did. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, say hey, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you wanna stick around for some more videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>